Hi, my name is Hannah and welcome to session one of Back in My Body. In this session today, uh, it would be helpful for you to have two blankets or two towels, two thick towels, beach towels work really great, a bolster or maybe you have a thick uh, couch cushion or some pillows, some thick pillows. Um, if you want blocks, you can have them, but we won't be using them too much. There's one low lunge that we'll take that might be helpful to have some blocks in, but if not, that's okay. You don't have to have them. So with that being said, I invite you into this first session and this whole series back in my body is all about returning, reconnecting and feeling our bodies in a way that feels simple and hopefully um, slow, not rushing into anything. We're really taking some tender tiptoes into just reconnection. And if at any time this series it becomes maybe overwhelming or there's a particular class that maybe you prefer and you want to stay in rather than going on to other sessions, please do whatever feels right and natural to, to your journey and to your healing. And just know that whatever you decide to do is completely honored. There's no right or wrong to reconnect, no, no right or wrong way to reconnect with your body. And so however it feels, organic and right to you is the best way. So with that being said, we'll go ahead and start in any seated shape. So you might decide to come into a crossed legged shape, um, the same one that I'm doing, or you might decide to choose a different seated shape. You might choose to have your legs outstretched or perhaps have the soles of your feet together in kind of a, a butterfly shape or maybe something else. And it might even be helpful to sit on a blanket or even a bolster and as you set up, make sure that you have one blanket or towel free. You don't have to do this, but this is how I'm going to encourage us to start. And with that blanket or towel, I invite you to wrap it around yourself. However, it feels safe and inviting to your body. And begin to arrive in this moment. Allowing all of the attention and awareness to begin drawing inward. You might acknowledge the sounds around you. Noticing just any sounds occurring in your environment. And then you might begin to draw your sense of sound even closer toward you. Until maybe you notice the sound of your own breathing. at any time your body wants to take a cleansing breath in and out option to do so in any way feels natural to you and as we're here in this seated shape of your choice with a blanket or a towel around us i welcome you to start to get cozy wrapping the blanket around you, holding it, or maybe not holding it in any way that you want to. 
and beginning to bring some awareness into your physical body. Noticing how you are sitting. And noticing maybe what you are sitting on, so what's beneath you, and feeling the tactile sense of your body sinking down into the support of either the floor or the bolster or the pillow, whatever it may be that you are sitting on. And then moving the awareness up the body, perhaps noticing the clothing touching your skin and the blanket or towel on top of your clothing touching your skin. Feeling this sense of being covered, maybe even cocooned, a sense of being held. You might choose to place one hand over your heart and maybe even kind of wrapping it around a little bit as if your arm kind of crosses over your chest and your other arm can cross over your stomach, holding yourself in any way that feels natural to you. And feeling the tactile sense of being held. You holding yourself and the blanket holding you. You might sit in stillness or you might even decide to rock back and forth. You choose what feels supportive to you in this moment. This first session is all about holding the self. Allowing the sense of comfort, maybe safety, to come forward and simply be with it. And as we're here in this moment, for the next few rounds of breath, I will be reading to you a short poem. The poem is, Palm to the Chest. Eyes closed, I whisper to my heart. It feels heavy and it feels hard, but we are doing the work together. And I am going back for every piece of you. So we'll take two more rounds of breath here, sinking into that. Noticing whatever comes up. And with your last round of breath, you might even add a little breath to your next inhale through the nose. And exhale through the mouth if you want. You might choose to stay here in this shape for as long as you like, maybe even the whole practice, and you absolutely can. Your choice is always honored. And if and when you are ready to begin moving into a different shape, 
I invite you to find uh, Balasana, child's shape. Taking your time getting there, there's no rush. And if you have a bolster or a pillow or cushion, whatever it may be, you might even decide to utilize it in this shape. So here, I'll move my blanket so you can see me. We can still use our blanket in this next shape, but I'll just remove it so you can see what I'm doing. And with your bolster or pillow, or whatever it may be, you could bring it um, closer to your body. So with the big toes touching, right back behind us, give or take, doesn't have to be exact. And our bolster prop right in front of us. You could begin to cocoon yourself with the blanket if you haven't already or forego it if you prefer not to have it. And begin to come into this child shape, perhaps resting on the bolster or the blanket, or sorry, um, cushion. Maybe even turning your head to one side. You could wrap your arms around your prop beneath you or you might even decide to bring your arms down by your legs. So take a moment and explore whatever is going to allow you to feel the most supported in this moment. And we'll be here for about 10 to 15 rounds of breath, depending on how short or long your breaths are. And as we're here, I invite you to bring awareness to where you feel the contact of what's supporting you. So can you tune into your body and notice, are my, are my legs touching? the floor or the mat. Maybe my arms are touching the mat. And if so, what parts of your arms or your legs or face are touching what is supporting you? Bringing all of the awareness to this sense of touch, the sense of being held and supported. knowing that you don't have to hold yourself up. Maybe we could begin to trust what is beneath us, that it's gonna support us, gonna hold us right back. Perhaps sinking a little bit deeper into this support. holding yourself as the support holds you. We'll take another three or four rounds of breath here. So four inhales and four exhales. Staying with the sensation of being supported and held.
Last round of breath, taking your time. And if you would like to stay in this shape a while longer, if this is serving you right now, then you absolutely can. You decide when and if you want to move out of the shape. And if and when you do decide you're ready to move, you could begin to find your way up. And we will begin to explore I'm going to move my blanket out of the way, but we'll begin to explore some, some spinal movement. So if you have a prop in front of you, such as a bolster or pillow, you could move it out of the way. And with our knees parallel to one another, you could begin to find your way into a tabletop shape. Maybe your knees find their way underneath the hips and the hands could rest underneath the shoulders, give or take. And a couple options here. You could decide to find a rocking motion and that could be to send the hips back toward the heels, kind of like a, a child's shape, but a little bit different in the sense that your toes don't necessarily have to create that V shape where they touch. And you could start here in this uh, kind of alternate child shape, Balasana, and inhaling and curling your spine up towards the ceiling. Here's option one. And exhaling, shifting back. So option one is finding this rocking motion in and out. You might even work with your breath. <sighs> Option two, if you prefer, you could just move organically, maybe moving in a way that just feels natural in this moment. Doesn't have to be any particular or specific shape. It can be whatever you want it to be. And we'll be here in whatever you choose for the next five rounds of breath. And if you chose option one, the rocking, you might begin to explore allowing the back to concave and the stomach to float down towards the floor if you want to feel kind of an, an opposite action. You could continue rocking or moving organically. Two more rounds of breath. Last breath. And whenever you feel complete, you could come back to stillness. And if you're ready for the next shape, you could even Grab your blocks if you have them, if you want them. You don't have to use blocks. But we'll begin to explore extending the right leg back behind you. So you might decide to keep your right toes on the floor, maybe even rocking back and pressing through the right heel, feeling the sensation in the back of the right leg. What does that feel like? What is that sensation? Is it a sensation of opening, 
Is it a sensation of expansion? Hmm. And with your next inhale, you could decide to draw your right knee up, picking it up, picking the left, right, right foot off of the floor <laughs> and resting the right foot on the outside of the right hand. So here you might have your hands on blocks or you might have your hands resting on the floor. And if your wrists feel sensitive, you could also make a fist and rest your fist on the floor. What feels best to you in this moment? So here in our low lunge, rather than expanding and um, curling out from the self, I, I welcome you to curl in toward the self. So keeping that sense of being held and supported, whether it's from the blocks or the floor, you might begin to find organic movement here, perhaps rocking, or maybe you just stay in stillness. Perhaps noticing a sinking feeling of the hips coming forward, releasing effort, perhaps noticing the left hip flexors. Are there any sensations going on? If that's an action that's happening or if you're rocking, you might notice the sensations changing depending on where your body is in space. And so for the next four rounds of breath, I invite you to observe whatever your current experience is and keeping to this, this idea of being held. So knowing that it, even if you're moving in space, even if you are in stillness, whichever one, you are still being supported by what's beneath you. So there's room for this exploration because you are still being held. You're still being supported almost as if there is a container, this moment being a container to explore any sensations that come up. Last breath here. And the next time you find yourself in a lunge shape, so with the right knee bent, you could begin to send the right foot back, coming back into a tabletop shape. And option two, feel any difference between the right leg and the left leg, just for one breath. And then you could extend the left foot back, perhaps keeping the left toes on the floor, maybe rocking back and forth into it, perhaps pressing through the left heel, observing what happens, what does it feel like when I take that shape? And if you're ready for a low lunge on this side, if you choose to take it, you could, with your next inhale, draw your left knee forward and ground it, plant it on the outside of your left hand. Making any adjustments to this shape that are needed in order for you to feel uh, stable. So again, here, 
you might use blocks you, or you might ground the hands on the floor. You could decide to move and rock in and out or you could decide to find stillness. Whatever you choose, could you bring your awareness into your body, being with yourself right now? for the next four rounds of breath. This moment is a container where we are able to explore, notice, change our minds. <laughs> you can always change your mind. Last breath. And the next time you're in a lunge shape and your left knee is bent, you could begin to send your left foot back, coming back into our tabletop, maybe moving the blocks to the side. An option here to send the hips back for our child's shape. Balasana. Maybe even utilizing your blanket again. But this time, we'll be needing the space in front of us to be clear. So perhaps foregoing the bolster or other prop. And so here, without our bolster or other prop, you might even stack your fists on top of one another and rest your forehead, or maybe rest your chin if you prefer to keep your gaze up and open, you decide. And I invite you to take two to three rounds of breath here, taking a pause, just observing. Asking yourself, how do I feel in my body in this moment compared to when I first started class? And with your next inhale, if you're ready to add on to this shape, you might begin to lift the head and planting your, your elbows and your hands on the floor in front of you. We will have an opportunity to take a spinal twist. So I cho I've chosen this shape to create this turning in toward the self. And so as we find this gentle twist, I invite you to imagine that turning in toward the self, the cocooning, the being held. So with your hands or your elbows planted on the floor, you could inhale and begin to peel the right arm back, maybe even reaching the right hand back behind you. And then with an exhale, you could begin to imagine that you're holding this beach ball in toward your chest. So palm faces in and send the right arm underneath the left arm, underneath the left armpit, perhaps even bringing the right shoulder toward the floor. And I'll move my blanket so you can see what I'm doing. And here you could rest the side of your head on the floor and you might decide to keep your left hand outstretched 
Or you could even plant your left hand close to your face, maybe even drawing your left arm in for a little stability. And we won't be here long, just three rounds of breath. Returning back to this, this cocooning, this turning in. Turning in toward the self, holding the self. Last breath. And if your left hand is outstretched, you might begin to draw it in, planting it on the floor near your face for some stability and pressing into the left hand, maybe even returning back to this expansion and then coming back in. We'll take the other side when you're ready. So if you'd like, you could breathe in. Feel open the left shoulder. Option to reach the left hand back. And with an exhale, drawing the left arm in, needling it through, maybe even bringing your head to the floor. Last round of breath. And with your right hand planted on the floor, you could begin to press into it if you're ready to leave the shape. Coming out of this twist. And Option to find your way into a constructive rest shape. And so what that looks like is coming onto your glutes and option here to continue utilizing the blanket. So I'm gonna move it to the side just so that you can see how I set up. Option to have your bolster um, okay, so actually, let's do it this way. Option one. Option one is to have your feet planted on the floor. Maybe you even take the feet a little bit wide and allow the knees to fall in toward each other. You could drape a blanket over you if you like. Option two is to utilize a pillow or a bolster, whatever you have, and slide it underneath your knees. So that your knees are still bent and it's taking any pressure off of the lower back. And we are still finding this sense of support. So, this is option two. Whatever you decide is a great decision. There's no right or wrong. You could also, like I mentioned earlier, drape the blanket over yourself and really tuck yourself in. So you could even lift your legs up a little bit, get the blanket really tucked in around your feet, around your toes, around your legs. You could tuck your arms in, pulling the blanket up as much or as little as you'd like. And perhaps even resting your hands on your abdomen, Maybe the elbows rest on the floor and the hands just rest on your chest or your stomach, whatever feels natural to you. Or maybe the arms just rest down at your side. You choose.
I will begin to shift into our time of pranayama breath work. But before we dive into that, could you check in on your body in this moment and just see what else do I need? Do I need anything to feel a bit more supported? Do you need to adjust any area of your body? Change anything or add anything? And if so, can you give yourself permission to do that, to feel a bit more held? And once you feel settled, I welcome you to decide if you want to keep your eyes open or closed. And then begin to bring some awareness to your breath. And you don't have to do anything to change your breath. We're simply noticing that we're breathing. <laughs> you are breathing. And as you notice that you are breathing, maybe your hands are over your chest or your stomach. I welcome you to begin to track your breath starting at your nose. So you could start by just observing if there is a temperature change around your nostrils, noticing the air as you breathe in through your nostrils, noticing the temperature, noticing it as you breathe out of your nose. And then you might begin to stay here. So you could choose to just stay right here with your natural breath, maybe tracking the inhales and exhales through your nose. Or another option is to notice your inhale coming in through your nose, through your nasal passageways, and start to follow the breath down the throat, the esophagus, beginning its journey into your lungs, feeling the inflation of your lungs from your inhale. And then tracking the breath as you exhale, as it leaves your lungs up through the throat and out of the nose or the mouth. Option to track this for three more rounds of breath. With this, <clears throat> with this third breath, you might decide to stay right here and tracking your breath, moving in and out. And if you'd like to, you can continue doing that and maybe even add on a sense of touch. So perhaps 
one hand is over your chest and or arm even whatever feels comfortable and maybe your other hand reaches around your stomach so this is option one or option two is to just place your hands on your ribs kind of so that your fingertips wrap around to your stomach so whatever feels the most stable to you and your body we'll continue for just four more rounds of breath tracking the inhale through the nose down the esophagus into the lungs and noticing that as you breathe in where in your body can you feel move under your hands or your arms and what is the movement as you inhale and the air enters your lungs you might notice your ribs expanding or perhaps your chest rising maybe your stomach also responds with your breath by rising and as you exhale you might notice a softening of your body the stomach might fall with the breath, the ribs might settle back in, and the chest releasing down. One more breath here. Option to stay here with your breath as long as you like, or if you are ready to release this conscious awareness of your breath, option to do so. And we'll move into a time of short uh, meditation. So I'll be guiding you and we'll be focusing on our bodies for this very short guided meditation. And you might start simply by noticing where your body is touching the floor. So if you are lying down on your back, you might observe if your feet or your heels are supported by the mat beneath you. You might notice if the back of your legs or your back your shoulders, your arms are touching the floor, the back of the head maybe. And feeling this sense of weight, so your body weight easing into the floor beneath you. And observing if there's any sense of temperature. So where your body touches the floor, is there a sense of warmth maybe? Or perhaps a sense of coolness? Then you don't have to do anything with this information. We're just simply observing we're just noticing. And then bringing some awareness to the front of your body. The part of your body that maybe isn't touching the floor but perhaps has the blanket draped over it. Noticing where the blanket touches your skin, perhaps even feeling the texture of the blanket.
observing if there is a sense of temperature, the blanket over you, and acknowledging that you might have a different temperature in different parts of your body. So some parts might feel warm and some might not. Maybe some feel cool or maybe even chilly. And if so, what parts of your body feel this sense of warmth or coolness? Staying with this sensation of warmth or cool in the front of your body for another two rounds of breath. And then releasing that awareness. I'm beginning to scan through your body one last time. And this time, noticing if there's any muscle tension in your body. So you might start at the top of your head, and perhaps working your way down, noticing the muscles in the face. Are there any muscles here that it feels safe enough to release? Perhaps unclenching the jaw if that feels safe. Moving down into the neck and the shoulders and observing if the shoulders could perhaps settle down a little bit deeper into the earth. Moving down the arms, down the torso, noticing, maybe even asking yourself, can I release a little here? Maybe it's yes, maybe it's no, either way, it is welcome. Moving down into the hips and the legs, Perhaps even allowing the muscles in the legs to settle into the floor or even into the bolster that's beneath your legs. And maybe even allowing the feet to soften and rest however they like. As we come into our time of quiet rest, our Shavasana. And during this time, you might decide to stay in this shape, or if you decide to move into a different shape at any time, you absolutely can and your choice is honored. You might choose to have your eyes open or closed, and you might choose movement or stillness, depending on what feels safe to you. And we'll be here for the next five minutes or so, and I'll keep track of the time so that you know that I'm here with you. And even though I'll be quiet, we'll We'll still have a container on that time. And so I'll let you know when those five minutes are complete. However, you can decide to leave this time um, at any moment. So with that option to take a deep breath in through the nose, perhaps out of the mouth, coming into our quiet time of rest.
beginning to bring some awareness back into the space around you if you are ready to begin coming out of this time of rest. Or you might choose to stay in this time of rest longer, and if so, you absolutely can. But if you are ready to begin finding your way out, you might add some gentle movement back into your body. Maybe even taking a full body stretch if you want, reaching the arms above the head. And when you decide to, you could roll on over to one side, pausing to rest in the fetal position. Holding yourself. And I'll read the poem again that I read at the beginning of class. Palm to the chest, eyes closed. I whisper to my heart. It feels heavy and it feels hard but we are doing the work together and I am going back for every piece of you. Perhaps you extend yourself a moment of gratitude for showing up to this practice, for showing up for you some days that is the hardest part. And you did it. When you are ready, you could begin to press yourself up into a seated shape. Taking a moment to readjust. Maybe even draping the blanket over your back for one last moment. Perhaps you place one hand over your heart or maybe even reaching across your heart with your arm and reaching across your stomach with your other arm to hold yourself, wrapping yourself in a hug. And I welcome you to say either out loud or internally to your body we are doing the work together. We are doing the work together. Option to bring your hands to the center of your heart. Thank you for allowing me to guide you in this practice today. My hope for you is that you feel safe, connected, and at home in your body. Thank you. <laughs>